be cool to have uh, an extra feature. They're like a USB port or a C type port so you can charge your cell phone, your camera or any other devices they have uh, with you. I think they can very easily implement that. It'll be cool to have this extra option. But that port will be so useful. And we can charge your camera gears, your drones, whatever stuff they have, right? If you're traveling, camping or hiking, that'll be cool to have. This is the last leg of the trip and last day of the challenge. Let's see how many miles we add on this last route. Previous days were cloudy and occasionally sunny. On this last day, it was gorgeous. The sun came out, got warmer. It felt like a mid-July summer day. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect riding day. The views, the Californian vibe, the fresh, clean air, the mountains, the ocean. It felt like it could not be any better for this range challenge. Guys, to summarize, it came down to three challenges that collected the most points. Day one, the bike assembly. I somehow got the best time. The second downhill challenge, I don't know how, but these guys are off-road extreme riders. And I'm not sure how, but I was able to get the better time and win that challenge also. The last challenge that was notified at the beginning of the last day when we started riding was the number of miles accumulated throughout the entire trip. The max amount of miles on the bike speedometer when we load the bikes at the end of the trip will be the winner of the last challenge. In this case, I already had close to 100 miles at the beginning of the morning and I ended riding a bit more the last day compared to Mike and uh, Tanner, collecting total 150 miles. Tanner and Mike covered a little bit under 100 miles, so I ended up having the highest amount of miles covered for the day and for the entire long range challenge. The winning prize is the Hemiway Zebra model, which is already shipped to me. As soon as it gets delivered, I'll do a follow-up. But after that, we have 40 days of uh, you guys placing comments and follow up on this uh, four videos uh, series of long range challenge. And then after that, after 40 days, we'll choose the winner based on comments, hopefully something funny, something related to the video and to the brand and to the bikes and our experience. So guys, make sure you follow up. Today was absolutely amazing. All the way down Highway 1, the views were incredible. The ocean, the waves, everything was just right out of a movie. The experience was awesome. The bikes performed amazing. Um, it was a very comfortable ride. The ergonomics are dialed, the grips, everything. I was very comfortable the whole trip. The views from the bridges were incredible. And yeah, just everything about today was perfect. Riding with the guys, we all had a fantastic time. Really got to show the long range capabilities and I really do feel like a long range expert. So we're headed back home tomorrow. This pretty much wraps up the whole experience and I've got to say thank you to Hemiway for putting this on. It was an absolutely awesome event with these guys. Couldn't have picked a better group of creators. We are all come from pretty diverse backgrounds so it made for some really interesting content and I'm looking forward to seeing what the guys put together in their videos so the bikes all did absolutely amazing i think they really do provide some of the best value per dollar so definitely highly recommend and i'm looking forward to riding my hemi way when i get home
But overall, my experience of this entire trip has been awesome. Meeting these other two creators and experiencing it through, you know, like other people's eyes too, and like kind of what they see or what they value as like beauty on a trip is, is pretty interesting. Pointing out different like pros and cons to the bikes and seeing what other people's perspectives were with that was definitely a big highlight of mine because I never really thought of other people's perspectives of what they see or what they don't like of a bike. Um, as far as the range, I feel like I got a lot of good range out of it, but I really put the bike to the test uh, throughout every single ride that we did. I like to be able to try to see what type of riding elements I can push to its limits because when we went to the one trail, we're going through the woods and everything. It wasn't necessarily made for that, but it's always, but it's always good to know that a bike like this can perform in those scenarios. Yeah, so I think this trip overall has been a great experience. Pulling one specific memory out, it's kind of hard. And I don't want to say it would be specifically behind the handlebars. I just feel like the scenery itself, like this entire ride has been, been a really pleasant experience. Looking on different scenery that I don't get a chance to really see out east. It's not as, not as blue, I guess you would say. Like the oceans are a lot richer. The, the, you got a lot more scenery to look at, less buildings. This is the last stop. Uh, I think we're done with the journey and looking back on Friday night when we started, I was a little bit skeptical. The assembly, the charging, the batteries, all the parts, I was like 210 miles, this is not going to make it. <laughs> Usually in the city in New York, if you guys watch my videos, uh, 25 to 30 miles, that's the most you can get with all the braking, hard acceleration. I always test in the fastest speed setting and I try to push the, the limits uh, here. I'm actually surprised. Uh, I went down the hill. 42 plus miles and uh, it was insane and then going back up uh, it was like a gust of wind so I was hitting 27 miles an hour it felt weightless the bike was just like not even assisting I was just like flying uh, uphill it was amazing the view <clears throat> all the elements is just like I recommend anyone that bikes just try this route and thank you Himiway whoever chose uh, San Francisco to LA uh, I think this is uh, the best experience that I have so far. I will probably never forget this. Uh, the nature, the beach, uh, the mountains, uh, the cliffs, the drops uh, is just like fantastic. And uh, I racked uh, over 100 miles on the bike and uh, I just feel like I want to do more. Uh, today is the last day we stop here, but I feel like I want to do 50, 60, 70 more miles and just enjoy this and take it all in. It was amazing. Uh, another thing that I need to mention is that uh, we hit some very long, very steep hills and a regular bike will not do it. And uh, having the Cobra, uh, the extra power, that extra battery will really make a difference and really allow you to push through and extend the range. And uh, I think the last leg I, I pumped like 30 plus miles and I'm still you know able to go more so uh, having a bigger battery having the system that Himiway uh, offers in the bikes uh, makes a big difference and allows you to go off-road go uh, on regular roads and really enjoy and take it all in and uh, have fun and uh, thank you again Himiway for organizing this I really had some uh, bad vibes and like really expecting uh, you know like something different and it turned out to be amazing and uh, I feel like I'll be next summer back here again uh, doing this uh, route again.